Hi everyone, I'm Clinton and welcome to Sensible. In today's episode, we're going to explore and identify the major anatomy and most important points of the neck, shoulder, chest, and arm. Understanding basic anatomy allows for a smooth massage and essentially gives your hands the vision that they need to feel what you want to work on. We're gonna work superior to inferior or top to bottom. Let's get started, shall we? Today we begin with the neck. The neck is one of the most durable structures in the human body. Though it's comprised of many complex parts, today we identify the sternocleidomastoid, also known as the SCM. And continuing down the neck, we land at the superior portion of the trapezius. Known for its kite-like shape, the trapezius is a strong surface muscle, spanning most of the upper shoulders and down through the mid-back. But what's this bone? The scapula. The scapula, or shoulder blade, is a prominent bony landmark. It is a flat, triangular bone that connects the upper body appendages to the trunk. Now let's get to the chest. We'll start with pectoralis major. More commonly known as the pecs, pectoralis major creates the bulk of the muscle in the chest. This surface muscle also protects vital organs like the heart and upper lungs. And one of the more prominent topographical parts of the body, the clavicle. The clavicle, or collarbone, spans from the sternum all the way to the scapula. Did you know that the clavicle is one of the first bones in a fetus to start hardening, yet one of the last bones that hardens in adults? <laughs> from the pecs, we can trace the clavicle all the way to find the deltoid. The deltoid is a large muscle at the top of the arm that is responsible for lifting the arm and giving the shoulder its range of motion. And I think we all know... Triceps and biceps brachii. Triceps and biceps brachii are a dynamic duo. Together, they enable extension and retraction of the forearm. When the triceps are contracted, the forearm extends and the elbow straightens. If the triceps are relaxed and the bicep is flexed, the forearm retracts and the elbow bends. As always, communication is key. Consult with your partner before starting any massage practice. Whether it's contraindicated or simply undesired, the art of consent is key. So, deep breath in. <sighs> Now let's get sensible. Let's review that anatomy during a massage. We begin gently moving into the sternocleidomastoid and applying first compression to the trapezius. Remember to keep your opening pressure gentle and clear communication with your partner at all times. During your trap compression, if it's comfortable for your partner, you can ask them to gently stretch their ear to their shoulder while keeping their view up front. This allows for a wonderful stretch and release of the upper neck and shoulders. Using the scapula as a land marker, we continue to massage the shoulders and apply pressure to the deltoid. Lift and return to the clavicle, tracing it along pectoralis major and over to biceps brachii finishing with a nice effleurage on the triceps. Gently sweep the SCM upward and return to the traps for final massage and compression. Join me back here next week as we continue to discover more anatomy. That's right, we're gonna work on the inferior part of the body, including the major muscles of the lower back, hips, glutes, legs, and feet. Thanks so much for joining me, everyone. I'm Clinton, and I'll see you back here soon.